Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to upgrade from XBMC version 11 to XBMC version 12. That's from Eden to Frodo, while well connected to a MySQL database that currently uses path substitution. We no longer need path substitution with the Frodo version because Frodo offloads most of that into the database itself. That also means that each client installation of Frodo has its own local cached copy of all of your thumbnails. That means that they'll load faster and you don't have to do anything fancy with path substitution in the advanced settings file. Let's jump right into it. You can see my current installation of Eden has a movies database. I have a couple of movies that have the watched indicator. And you can see that they all have fan art and thumbnails. In my advanced settings, that is in the users folder, uh, your username, app data, roaming, XBMC, user data. It's a bit of a long path, but uh, there's lots of ways to find it. The advanced settings.xml file is pointing to a video library on a NAS device that's also running MySQL. I've given myself the name XBMC11, password XBMC11, and I name my database XBMC11 underscore video. That way I can have multiple installations of XBMC on the same MySQL server, mostly for testing. The important thing in Eden was to make sure that you had path substitution enabled. And this meant that the thumbnails folder, which is usually inside your user data folder, is mapped to another location on the network. In my case, it's on my Synology NAS, in the XBMC share, and in the thumbnails XBMC 11 folder. That's this folder on my network. And you can see all of the folders from 0 to 9, and then a couple of letters. Uh, and that's how XBMC saves all of the thumbnails and fan art. Since we're going to be upgrading, I'm going to go ahead and shut down XBMC. And then I'm going to remove path substitution from my advanced settings file. Save the file, and then go ahead and install the new version of Frodo right on top of the existing version of Eden. This is the release candidate number three because Frodo's final release hasn't been completed yet. You can see it's installing to program files XBMC. And I'm just going to copy it right over top of the existing. I'll pause the video while this is done. XBMC is just about installed. In fact, there it goes. So now that it's done, we have to do a couple more steps. What we need to do is copy all of the thumbnails that are currently in the path substitution folder and move them into, or at least copy them, into the local cached thumbnails folder. And that's your user data folder on your local machine in the thumbnails folder. Mine is empty because I always use path substitution. So I will copy over from my NAS all of the thumbnails. I have a very small library for this video, so mine's only about 40 megabytes. Yours may be, or actually mine's only 15 megabytes. Yours will probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of a few hundred to a gig or two. As soon as that's done, I'm going to go ahead and start back up uh, XBMC so that you can see Frodo starting up. Okay, so starting up XBMC Frodo after the installation is complete. So now, as Frodo starts out the first time, it may take a little bit longer to start up. And it will have gone through, and it's going to modify the uh, MySQL database. And it's going to add a new set of databases. So where I had XBMC 11, I only had music 18 and video 60 before, it added music 32 and video 75. That just means a newer version of the database was created. So where Eden was using uh, video database version 60, Frodo uses video version 75. It leaves, or during the upgrade process, it leaves the old one behind. So if I start up an Eden player, it's still going to work in the, exactly the same as it did before, but it's never going to pick up the changes that happen after the Frodo client start running. That is to say, if I watch a movie in Frodo, 
and then go to an Eden player, I'm not going to have the watched status because they're writing to two separate databases. All Frodo players are going to write to this video 75, and all Eden players are going to write to the video 60. So that's why you want to have all of your clients running the same version of XBMC at all times. Now, going back to XBMC itself, I'm going to go into my Movies library. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to be presented with a screen that asks me to update the art cache. What this does is it's actually going to go out and it's going to create the library entries for all of the thumbnails. We brought them local onto the client machine, so they're in the actual thumbnails folder of XBMC instead of path substitution, and then it's going to copy all of the information about those thumbnails to the MySQL database. This actually takes a surprisingly long time. Uh, it goes through all the regular thumbnails and there's a whole bunch of individual uh, actor and actress uh, pieces of information that get updated as well. So I'll pause the video until this is done. Okay, you can see that the progress bar has stopped and a few minutes have gone by. And now if we scroll over each movie, we see first of all that my watched status has remained. And if I scroll over, we see the thumbnails and the uh, fan art update. So now what we've done is upgraded from Eden to Frodo. We have copied all the thumbnails from the path substitution folder on the NAS to the local computer. And we have uh, upgraded the database from version 60 to version 75. All of that was automatic. And after running Frodo for the first time, and the first time we open up either the movies or TV shows area where you actually see the uh, fan art and thumbnails, we're asked to update the uh, thumbnail cache. Once we do that, the information is stored within the database itself on the NAS or on your MySQL, and every subsequent client that you start up will automatically download all of the same thumbnail images, fan art, and banners. Now, you can speed up the process by copying the thumbnail cache from this primary machine or really any of the other uh, front-end clients to a new front-end client and will automatically use those thumbnails in the local cache. If you don't want to spend the time transferring those files, you can just start XBMC and go to the movies and TV shows library screens and this, as soon as you uh, try to pull up a thumbnail or a piece of fan art, it will get downloaded. But it's going to take a really long time for all of those images to filter down from the uh, network. So I'm going to create a video shortly that shows starting up some uh, individual clients and both the difference between starting up with a pre-populated cache and actually downloading the cache yourself. So this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.